Hello, welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. I love bringing you tips on how to declutter, get organized, upcycle items, do DIYs, and crafts. One of my biggest questions that I get most often is how can I add storage affordably? Now there are so many different systems out there that you can get. I love using bookcases as you know. There are so many things that IKEA that I very much recommend. But so often before I suggest anyone run out and buy things, I suggest using what you already have at home. Repurpose what you can but don't do anything until you've gone through your items and you know what storage you need. I was just working with a gal yesterday. I'm starting to do more virtual clients and I was going through her room via the pictures and she was saying, well, let me go get containers. I said, no, 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 don't. I have so many videos on how to break down your categories, getting the likes with the likes, paring down what you don't need, and then basing your storage decisions on what space you need. So always tackle that first. But once you do, here are some really fun creative ways to create storage out of things you probably have lying around the house right now. So let's look at those. This first one might be a little bit unconventional, but how many of us have these ironing boards lying around that we don't really use? Most of them have this great system underneath it with ventilation so that when you're ironing, the heat doesn't bounce back and burn your fabric. Well, guess what? Those little holes will work perfectly for hanging items as a pegboard. There are so many systems out there where you can already hang the ironing board on a hook. They're lightweight, but look at some of the uses they have here. You can use it for your larger spools of thread. You can use it for your paints, for your small bobbins. Basically, you're treating your ironing board as a giant pegboard to get your things up and use that vertical space. You can also use it in other areas of your home. For example, for your jewelry. You could probably even use it in the kitchen for those hanging utensils. Baby furniture is one of those things that sadly we spend so much money on, so why not get a second use out of it once those babies have grown up? I've seen an assortment of cute ideas where they make them into potting benches, which I always like. I've also seen a few where they turn it into little DIY bars. Of course, you could also do this for a coffee bar if you're not a drinker. But then you could also use it for storage with some pretty decor boxes, and it still gives you a surface on top for either a Cricut, a printer, or just for decor. But my favorite that I came across was a website called My Love to Create. And she had found this old crib and she has step-by-step -step directions on her website. So please check that out. But look at what she turned this old crib into. She's using it as the perfect display case for her spray paint. But then I found so many others who may have copied her or just had the idea as well, where you can use these slats automatically by just adding some nails or some S hooks to create hanging storage. So look on Pinterest for these ideas. Sadly, I see these on the side of the road and at, and at thrift stores all of the time because of, they're always upgrading the safety measures and oftentimes they cannot be resold. So keep an eye out for these cribs and see how you can repurpose it for storage. Speaking of thrift stores, I've loved seeing the way so many of you have upcycled these old TV cabinets. These are always fun to look at, but what about thinking outside of the box? Does this look familiar? Do you remember those old cassette tape holders? This is the perfect size for your stamp pads. This is a wire mesh CD holder, which absolutely is a perfect way to store your dies, your small stamp sets, or these stamp pads. This, believe it or not, is a file cabinet where the drawers have been taken out and it's laid on its side. A little bit of paint touch up and it is the perfect storage solution for large garden tools. This is one that I think is super smart. These are just small towel racks for like tea towels in the kitchen, but look at how they're using it for the punches. I really like this idea and I'm going to duplicate this stamp pad holder. So keep an eye out for this one. 
Another vintage thing that I see at thrift stores pretty often and I had never thought of using is look at this suitcase with the mirror mounted on the outside and then a couple of little shelves put on the inside. It makes for a great makeshift medicine cabinet. Frames are another item I see being discarded all of the time and they come in so many various sizes. I know they have them at the Dollar Tree, but with so many good quality wood ones being available for just a couple of dollars, why not turn it into usable storage space? So by just folding some fabric, they created this great little organizer for papers and pens. You don't even need a lot of sewing skills. Just fold the fabric and tack it on the back to create the pockets. With just a little bit of wood created with this box, this is such a cute way to display books, but again, this creates usable wall space that so often gets overlooked. And if you don't want to mess with the wood, that's okay. You can make the same thing out of foam core for lighter weight things. And if you're not sure how to work the foam core, I have a tutorial on how to do that, and I'll have that link in the description below. Now how about reusing that packaging that we have around? This is sweetthings.net and they have this beautiful little container that they painted and put new labels on. I love using the same size containers for storage because it creates such a uniform look and it gives you that creative outlet to make it match your aesthetic. I do that so often with my boxes behind me. I love that black and white paper that you can always get at the Dollar Tree. It absolutely speaks to me, but you can also use any type of wrapping paper that you like or scrapbook paper to make it really match your style. These are crystal light containers. I didn't even know this existed, but apparently there's a whole website dedicated to Crystal Light and Pringles containers. I totally fell down this rabbit hole. I got some great ideas. This one right here is magnetized. They put magnets on the back of these Crystal Light containers. They used coordinated scrapbook paper and just put it on a magnetic board. Ah, I love that idea and I'm definitely going to follow that one. So be sure to check out Pinterest for Crystal Light and Pringles containers because there are so many ideas. The next rabbit hole I fell down were kitty litter containers. Oh, okay. It's clean when it comes out, so who cares? But the plastic that these are made out of is so durable. And these are large containers. So why not use these for space? So I found a website where someone had compiled all these amazing ideas using pet containers. It's the petslady.com, so check out her link, but look at some of the ideas she found with these pet containers. I absolutely love this first idea because these are containers that I would actually buy right now. And who would have ever thought that they came from just a cat food container? So if you know someone with cats or if you yourself have them, Repurpose them to hold your magazines, your papers, or your eight and a half by 11 colored papers. I don't know the size of these, so if they're bigger and they do hold 12 by 12, please leave me a comment below so that I can help others to know how they can use these in their space. This next one is great for larger supplies. It looks like she just covered them, but again, you could paint these to coordinate for any look that you want. And then look, she stacked them on their side to create open storage, almost like locker cabinets. There are so many ideas out there, so just Google things to do with plastic containers and you'll be occupied for quite some time, but the ideas are amazing. I know I've talked about cardboard boxes before, but I think they're worth mentioning again because there's so many creative things to do with them and you can always adjust the size. But this one, if you're doing any of the pegboards that I've already talked about, either with the ironing board or with the used cribs, these bottles would make such great holders for small items. If you cut the hole big enough for your hand to fit by, sand it just a little so it's not sharp, you can hang these from the pegboards and easily have access to the small items, but you can also see them and with that hole being large enough for your hand, you can always easily pour the things right back inside. I love this idea. If you happen to have a lot of discarded pants lying around, why not use the pant legs for little pouches so that you can easily have the items you use most often accessible on your workspace. You can do the same thing with cans you're no longer using, but you guys, there are so many great ideas out there for using things that you already have 
in a creative way just to help visually organize you and create new space. While I was searching for these ideas today, I found three things that I fell in love with and I'm gonna do separate videos on them because they merited getting their own new video. So make sure you've clicked subscribe so that when those videos become available, you'll be notified and get to watch it. Please also, if you did like this video, click that button and leave a comment about what your favorite was or if you're using something else creatively, leave that in the comments so that somebody else can benefit from your amazing idea. Thank you so much to my patrons who are allowing me to create these videos. I am trying to find a balance right now. Um, I did go back to work for a little bit, but then we got shut down, so I had to do some canceling. But I'm trying to still work with my existing clients in a very safe way still get to do these videos but i'm also doing a lot more virtual organizing right now and i'm starting off without charging because i really want to make sure what i'm providing is a benefit so if you're interested in that leave me a comment below i'm doing some initial consultations just through pictures and through some phone calls but i'm finding that i'm having a little bit of a hard time balancing it all so if you've sent me something or if you've emailed me or left me a comment and i haven't gotten back to it i promise i will get around to it but i do appreciate your patience while i find a new balance to these things that i'm adding in so thanks so much for watching today and i will see you in just a few days bye